The DXPH measurement system is simple for the patient to operate. For the most effective test results, you will need to interact with a few buttons on the DX recorder. During the test, if you happen to cough, simply press the cough button and let go. The screen will display cough to confirm that the button was pressed. When you start to eat a meal or snack, press the meal button and let go. Meal on will appear on the screen. Once you finish eating, press the button once again. The meal on message will disappear. If you experience heartburn during the test, simply press the heartburn button. When you lie down during the test, whether to sleep for the night, to take a nap, or just watch television, you need to press the supine position sleep button. The screen will read sleep on. Press it once again when you get up. Sleep on will disappear. Depending on your situation, your doctor may customize three buttons, the up arrow, down arrow, and escape keys as other symptoms or events. Your doctor will explain what each button is for and you will press it during the study when necessary. If your doctor does not define those buttons as event buttons, do not press them during the study. While you are having a pH study performed with the ResTech DX pH measurement system, it is important to go about your daily functions as usual to best reflect the lifestyle and symptoms you experience. This will ensure that your condition may be properly studied and diagnosed. When you experience any symptoms, write them down in your patient diary as soon as possible. It is extremely important for the correct analysis of your study that you record these occurrences precisely and in some detail. Doing so will help your physician's diagnosis. For example, if you have an episode of heartburn that is accompanied by regurgitation, describe it in your patient diary. This subjective diary is one of the most crucial components of your study. When writing in your diary, you will need to fill in the time an event takes place. Record the time from your DX recorder. Do not use another clock as this may provide inaccurate data. Also, press the correct event marker button firmly on your recorder one time. The recorder may or may not beep when you press the buttons, depending on how your doctor set it up. If you experience a symptom such as cough or heartburn, press the button firmly once. If it is an event such as a meal or a supine period, press the button when you begin the event and when you finish. For example, when you lie down and again when you get up. Keep the DX recorder in its carrying case and wear it as often as possible. If you cannot wear the DX recorder at night, stay within a close range to the recorder. Though the range of transmission is up to 15 feet, if you exceed this range, you may not hear the alert from the DX recorder. Do not try to power the DX recorder unit off. Pressing extra buttons or removing the batteries will corrupt your study data and require the test to be redone. Caution, do not shower or bathe with the DX pH measurement system. Do not get the recorder and transmitter wet or expose them to excessive moisture. They are not waterproof. Doing so may damage the equipment as well as provide incorrect or inaccurate data. Most importantly, Follow any instructions your physician gives you closely. If you have any questions regarding the study, call your physician's office.